one week after anti-Trump West Point grad's disgusting display, look what just happened to him. Inspired by Colin Kaepernick and the anti-American protests currently raging on in the NFL, U.S. Army Infantry Officer Spencer Ripon decided to send a particularly vile message of his own while in uniform. Ripon waited until his graduation day from the prestigious military school, West Point, to share his sick secret with the country who just paid for him to attend college. His disgusting message wasn't well received among Americans and now a week after becoming infamous for it, he just got a brutal surprise. It's bad enough that overpaid athletes routinely disrespect our nation on a weekly basis as an acceptable form of protest against perceived police brutality and other alleged racism. This sets a precedence of anti-American attitudes being acceptable, especially among impressionably young children. A generation taught to hate the country will refuse to defend it and that's a dangerous fact of our future. Now. This sickening rhetoric has surfaced within our military which was met with incredible karma that Lt. Rapone had coming. Rapone thought he would be clever to flip off the nation on graduation day while defacing his uniform to share communist propaganda. The officer had the words communism will win written inside of his cap, which he gleefully displayed in a viral graduation picture, along with a Che Guevara shirt he exposed under his uniform. In the wake of the recent NFL protests, a West Point graduate and infantry officer tweeted out the following image with the caption, Hash veterans for Kaepernick a disgusting display from an officer, Gateway Pundit reported. Despite looking up to Kaepernick who also seemed to show an ironic respect for communist leaders like Fidel Castro while protesting fair treatment, the opposite of what Castro and Guevara stand for, Ripon didn't learn for Kaepernick's demise. If fair treatment is what Ripon wants, he got exactly what is fair for his actions after having received the honor of being nominated by a lawmaker to attend West Point. Perhaps Rapon thought he was in the clear after graduation until the harsh reality of consequences caught up to him when he least expected and now he's going to pay a big price for it. Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio is demanding the U.S. Army take swift and specific action against Rapon for disrespecting the service and our country with his actions. I respectfully request the United States Army immediately nullify our opponent's commission and pursue all available disciplinary options under the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Repone should be required to pay back in full the cost of his education and the United States Military Academy should consider revoking his degree, Rubio wrote. The Daily Caller reports. The U.S. Army should nullify unabashed Communist 2nd Lt. Spencer Ripon's military commission and require him to pay back his tuition costs, Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio requested in a Wednesday letter to Acting Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy. The senator referenced Ripon's robust social media presence posting photos of Communist propaganda while in his Academy uniform, and other posts expressing his desire to foment a Communist revolution. Ripon at different points on social media denigrated Secretary of Defense James Mattis as an evil, by left, and called convicted leaker Army Private First Class Chelsea Manning an inspiration. This clearly violates multiple Army regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice, Rubio's letter noted. Article 88 of the Uniform Code of Military Justice states any commissioned officer who uses contemptuous words against the President, the Vice President, Congress, the Secretary of Defense, the Secretary of the Military Department, the Secretary of Transportation, or the Governor or Legislature of any state, territory, commonwealth, or possession in which he is on duty or present shall be punished as a court-martial may direct. It is extremely concerning that someone who so often expressed such hostile views towards the United States system of government was able to obtain a commission, Rubio wrote. Ripon's revolutionary ideas were harbored long before he was commissioned as an Army Second Lieutenant. Were West Point administrators or faculty aware of his views and behavior? This letter from the Senator comes after additional action was rightfully taken against Ripon. Connecting Vets reports that the Army Infantry Officer and West Point grad under investigation for praising communism in uniform was removed for standards from the 1st Ranger Battalion as an enlisted man prior to his acceptance to West Point. Lt. Col. Matthew Bockhalt, 
Director of Public Affairs for U.S. Special Operations Command, SOCOM, confirmed that Army 2nd Lt. Spencer Rapone was RFS. This means that he was kicked out of the battalion. Liberals are already losing their minds over this officer receiving punishment, insisting that he's entitled to his opinion and that he's just a kid. A West Point graduate is no longer a kid. He's a man who has other men's lives in his hands and can be trusted to defend our nation. He disrespected the country that paid his tuition and Rubio shouldn't have to ask for Rapone to repay what he didn't deserve. It should have been automatic as soon as he lifted his fist in support of black power and should his communist message, message.